Professor Heinemann. Thank you very much indeed for giving us uh, really the bottom line of this very important trial that you presented at ASCO. It's in an advanced metastatic colorectal cancer patients yes. who've got wild type Kirsten Rath. What did you do? We performed a randomized phase three trial comparing Folfiri, which is a standard chemotherapy in Germany and also in Europe, plus either cetuximab or levacizumab as a targeted agent. This was a one-to-one -one randomization in these metastatic KRAS wild type patients. How many patients? 592 patients were recruited onto the trial and all of them were KRAS wild type. And the bottom line is quite remarkable, is it not? It is. Uh, we have to differentiate, however, um, a primary endpoint that was not positive. The primary endpoint was objective response rate. And in the intent to treat evaluation, we find no difference between arms. However, if we look at the accessible patients, which are patients that needed to have received at least three cycles of treatment and needed also to have one imaging uh, procedure um, to evaluate these patients, in this group of patients, um, we find a significant superiority of the cetuximab arm, roughly 10%. Now, the key finding um, of our trial is, however, an advantage in overall survival of 3.7 months observed in the cetuximab arm as compared to the bevacizumab arm. So we look at 28.7 months overall survival versus 25 months. Tell me what the, uh, the, the, the difference in how the patient perceived the two arms differences in toxicity and ability yes. to do things? I think from a general toxicity standpoint, um, we can say that the toxicity was quite manageable. We find rather low grade three, four diarrhea rates, lower than 15%. We find, however, um, toxicities which are certainly related to the targeted treatment. Cetuximab induces more skin toxicity, um, which is acneiform rash, for example, nail toxicity, and so on while bevacizumab um, notably induces more hypertension, proteinuria, some wound, wound healing problems, some fistula, and so on. Interestingly, um, with regard to toxicity, we have equal rates of um, thrombotic and thromboembolic events in both arms. That was not expected. And uh, do you have any idea about the, the relative costs of the two arms of the trial in terms of euros? Well, this evades the knowledge of a common physician as me, and um, I would say this would be the task of a um, formal um, pharmacoeconomic analysis that we did not, however, perform. Is it took some the same price as the Susmab in Germany? I have no idea. Honestly, I don't know either because I'm not really um, I'm neither interested in that nor responsible for that. I cannot answer that question. The health authorities, however, if they pick up on your trial and make this uh, the standard approach, will want to know how much it costs, certainly, certainly. in the UK. Yeah. yeah. In, in my view, it is rather so in Germany that um, the um, survival um, will be of great importance, and if we find survival gains, we will pay for that. Sure. Um, specifically, um, in the range that we have observed, I think roughly four months survival gain will um, support a treatment sure. in any case almost regardless of the costs, also since both agents are registered in Germany. Yes. Professor Heinemann, congratulations on uh, being very patient and accruing very significant numbers of patients yes. and, and coming out with a, a really, really elegant result. Well done. My pleasure. Thank you very much.